Hi, this is Jaya. Now we shall see the summary of The Pleasures of Ignorance by Robert Lind. Come, let's go to the summary. Here, Robert Lind does not discuss only about the pleasures of ignorance. He also discusses about discovering things, about learning things and how we get confused when we are learning and the basic inquisitiveness of human nature and of course about ignorance. And he is saying ignorance is really good because only ignorance means nothing. That is you don't know about a particular thing. And you should also know the difference between innocence and ignorance. Innocence is a child's nature. That is a child's innocence. It will not know anything. That is innocence. Ignorance is you should be knowing it but you don't know. Or you sh it's something which you need in your life which you don't know. That only is ignorance. And he's saying ignorance is really good because that will give you one way to learn it. But the problem is he's saying when you are ignorant about something, something you don't know. Now you want to learn about it or you want some information about it. This information if it is very simple and easy you will learn it. But at the same time, if this information is not simple or if it's not easily told to you, then that information itself will confuse you. And he's saying we cannot blame it because that is human nature. But he says we should also have a very good memory to remember whatever we have learnt. And here he is mentioning that he has a very weak memory. Because he says that for many times he has a counted the number of petals in the buttercup but he still doesn't remember it and each time he gets buttercup he keeps counting the petals up but at the same time he says just because i don't know something or just because i'm forgetting any particular matter it does not mean i'm not going to learn it he will not think oh i, I learned this so many times but even then i'm not remembering it so i will not study it that is not lind he says that he has a natural inquisitiveness and he feels that this is a common nature for everyone. Inquisitiveness means eagerness to learn or eagerness to know things up. Not gossiping, eagerness to know the certain things up. And so he says that this inquisitiveness makes him to learn things and when he is learning, his life becomes very enjoyable because learning gives him pleasure. And he says not only him, many talented people they also feel very happy when they come across some new findings or when they investigate something and find out something. So he is saying basically every man loves to learn things. There is a willingness in everyone to learn. But at the same time he agrees that some people are more knowledgeable than others. Some people are naturally intelligent so that is individuality. But he says that Ignorance is a part and parcel of everyone's life. Everyone is ignorant in some way or the other. No one can say I know everything. Or you cannot point out to any particular person and say oh he knows everything. There is nothing he doesn't know. For example he says a doctor may not know something what a botanist knows. Botanist means people who study about the plants. And at the same time a lawyer will not have the same knowledge what the farmer has about farming. But everyone likes to learn something new. Why they like to learn is when they are learning something new or when they come across something new, they enjoy it. It gives them pleasure. And of course he agrees that we may forget. It's not new. We may forget and then we will be forced to learn the same thing again. Because we have to have it in our life. Something which is compulsory, you will be forced to study it again. But again he is saying that is the path of learning. You will learn something. Just because you learnt it once, it is not that you will remember it throughout your life. You may forget it and you will have to learn it again because there is some importance in that particular way. But that is the path of learning. And he says the best way to learn something is first thing is you read something on that subject or you make your own observations on that. And remembering this information, he agrees it's not very easy. Particularly in the beginning itself, he has mentioned that he's got a very poor memory. And he says that everyone has a degree of ignorance. That is what you are learning also you may forget. And another thing is nobody likes to get confused. Because when you're learning something new, 
and when you are not able to grasp it fully you get confused and you get irritated but he is saying you take that confusion also as a part of learning and he says that you will never know fully about everything in any subject even if you are an expert in a field definitely in that field itself there will be certain things which you still have to learn or something which you don't know and he is saying it is okay because we cannot expect even a subject expert to know everything in that term. And he also says here, uh, just, just uh, for a lighter vein, he says that there is a cuckoo which is near his house and every day he hears it singing. But he is not very sure about whether it is a male or a female. But he hears it singing every day. And there is a curiosity in him but he has no way to find it out. And he says that when you keep on learning, he says that learning gives pleasure. At the same time, when you keep on learning, your ignorance becomes smaller and smaller. That is, your ignorance will diminish. And you will keep on uh, adding on certain subjects, certain topics in the subject matters uh, in your mind. Uh, and uh, he, he says like everybody, I will not know everything. But at the same time, he says that if you know everything in one particular topic, if you say I know everything, he is saying that is also boring because you will not have any more challenges. When you don't have any more challenges, there is nothing for you to learn and he feels that this challenge and something left, something more to learn in a particular topic only is the driving force in his life. So, even if he is ignorant about certain things, he says, that is really good because he will enjoy it when he is discovering that particular subject while he is learning about it. And he says that there are certain people who will get very angry when they come to know that they are ignorant about certain things, when they don't know certain things and they will even punish themselves for it. But Lind is saying, no, no, I will not do all that because when I am ignorant, it is like an adventure because I am going to learn about it and when I am learning about it, I am exploring it. And when I am exploring it, I am very happy. Because he says, he is a, a perfect student. Because a perfect student will be willing to discover and learn new things. I am a very good student. I love to learn things. And he is saying, maybe whatever I am learning, I'll, I may forget. But I am not going to worry about it. Because when that day comes and when I realize that I have forgotten what I studied, I will cross it. Let the seasons come. At that time, I will observe what is around me. Because he says, I am one person who observes the world like an eagle. I observe each and everything in the minute way. And when I am finding out that there are certain things which I don't know, I really feel happy. Because in life, we have to keep on learning. And he says that life itself is one big learning curve. And certain things you will learn very easily. Certain things it will take a lot of time. But you have to give that time to that particular topic because for that, if you spend that much time only, you will understand it. And at the same time, he agrees that there are certain people who even after knowing that they are ignorant, they will not want to study about it. They don't want to learn about it. But he says it's okay because they are that type. They are people like that also. It doesn't mean that because you don't know about it, you will definitely go and study. But... Only when you come to know that you don't know about it and only when you are willing to be a student and learn that you will enjoy life. And he says that I am not a very able student. That is I am not a very intelligent student but I am a willing student. And it is okay if my memory is very poor. I will keep on learning again and again. What I already learned I will read. I will learn again. Like suppose in case I am taking a book. I am reading it. After some time, maybe I'll forget what is in the book. But I'll read again. I won't worry about it or I will not think what is the use. Even if I'm going to read it again, I'm going to forget. I will not think like that. I will read that book again and again. And that is why he says that my mind, though I am ignorant about many things, my mind is healthy. And he says my mind is a treasure trove of information. I know so many things because I enjoy learning. And he says that when people know that they are ignorant and when they are willing to learn something, they are 
a treasure trove that is they will know more information than others so lind ends essay in a very very positive way it's a very beautiful uh, writing i really recommend you to read the original book it's free uh, um, in uh, the internet uh, please do read it to enjoy it and if you have anything to add on please to write it in the comment box like the video share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe thank you